What is up everyone, my name is Josper and in this video I want to talk with you about the metrics I follow and check to see my own progress. So I think that tracking your progress is extremely important, especially in the early stages. And I think it's also something that can work very motivational and that's especially true in your early stages. I remember when I first started blogging, I, uh, I didn't really see much happening in the first few months. And not seeing much happening is really demotivating. So I think seeing some sort of progress or some sort of chart or graph that you're making yourself or something that kind of shows you that you're on the right track can be really beneficial, not only to see how much you're actually growing, but also as a motivational aspect. So in this video, I wanted to talk about what kind of things I check. And well, let me just preface this with saying that I probably check my analytics way too much. I think there's a certain degree of importance to checking your analytics regularly, but I mean, you can overdo it. I check analytics basically every day. So, and sometimes even multiple times a day, especially when I first started out with my beauty site. I remember just checking every single hour how many visitors I got in that hour. And the thing with that is it can get you really just the wrong impression. So you can, you're starting to compare things that should not be compared. Uh, I remember back then I was looking at how many visitors I got at uh, 12 a.m. for example. And I would compare that to the previous 12 a.m. But when I got fewer visitors, uh, it really just kind of got me riled up. And I think that that's really the downside of checking analytics too much. And it also not only does it take a lot of time away that you could spend much more productive, it also gets you worried about the things that are nothing to be worried about. So what do I track? I personally track my analytics, as I said, and I basically uh, write down all my organic searches for every single day. And I just put these in a spreadsheet and the spreadsheet kind of spits out a nice chart for me to see a, a nice line and hopefully upward trends. Uh, but the, I think uh, tracking organic searches is for me, it's, for, it's really important to see how many organic clicks I actually get. Now I also always just look at page views, but I usually look at page views at the end of every month. Now aside from that, I also track my income and for the newer sites, I usually do this also every day. Just I take 10 minutes of my time, just go through analytics and my Ezoic income for all of my newer websites and just get them all uh, sorted out. I also think it can be very beneficial if you check your website regularly, just so instead of just tracking numbers or stats, just go to your own website, see if everything's working, see if everything looks correct, see if there's nothing wrong with your ads, just, make, just give it a quick check just to see if everything's working correctly. But this process of writing everything down for every single day is basically what I do for websites in the first year. And after that, I basically give them a weekly or bi-weekly look. And I think that's more than enough. So for example, my two uh, new English websites in the accessory niche and in the consumptions niche, I still check them every day. And it's really exciting to see these small numbers just steadily growing. But for my beauty site, I just check them like every once a week. Sometimes when I look over at the analytics, I just quickly click on my beauty site analytics just to see uh, what's going on but I don't really just obsess over this side as much as I do over the others. But what I do with all these numbers is as I mentioned I put them in my spreadsheet and it spits out a nice chart. So you can see in this one here this is for my uh, accessory website and I just uh, jot down the month I started in, my total earnings, monthly earnings, monthly page use and it just gives you this nice sort of graph. As you can see this side is just shooting up and I, I really like what I'm seeing. And currently we're at September 14th. So there's only 13 days in September that have their proper analytics and we're already uh, nearing two thirds of what we got last month. So seeing these kind of charges really makes me excited about websites. And that's basically why I track these a little too much. Aside from doing this for all the websites individually, I also do this for uh, my total portfolio, just to see how the portfolio is growing. So right here, I've got a chart with all my different websites and then I got page views. Uh, I also got one for income, but that's not updated yet. So I'm just going to stick to this one with page views. I do have to blur a lot out here, but um, I basically just put in all of my uh, page view numbers. So I uh, started at December of 2018 when I started my beauty site. And ever since then, I've been adding new websites. So you can see March is the first time that my Dutch boating site got visitors. Uh, June is the first time my Dutch beauty site got visitors. September 2020 is the first time my consumption site got visitors. And in January of 2021, my accessory website first got visitors. 
And the great thing about this is that you can see a really nice upwards trend. Well, if we can just kind of ignore the huge drop uh, suddenly, but um, it just gives you a really nice perspective. I've seen Anne Moss do this for her site, and it just gives you a nice uh, overall overview of how your portfolio is growing. Now, why do I track all of these metrics? Well, first off, I think it's important to see your growth. And as I mentioned, I also think it's really important to kind of keep it there as a motivational aspect. But other than that, these metrics basically make up your business. So your page view numbers is your amount of traffic and your amount of traffic is really important when it comes to getting into ad programs. I believe Mediafine, for example, requires 50,000 sessions. But when you are at, let's say, 45,000 sessions and you can show them an upward trend, there's a very good chance that they will already accept you. I've heard many cases where people just applied with, uh, when they just miss out on a few thousand uh, visitors or sessions and they get accepted simply because there's an upward trend. And with all your data, that's really easy to show. And the same, of course, goes for AdThrive. Once you reach that 100,000 page views a month mark, it's just really important to know when you get there. And when you have these sort of charts, you can almost plot out a line where you can, uh, what you can expect for next month. Now, of course, anything can happen in this world with blogging, so don't, so don't take these as a, a given, but I do think that it kind of shows you the direction you're going in. But as I mentioned, I probably check all of these stats way too often. And I would actually recommend you only do it once a week. Uh, once a week is for me the perfect split because you see your traffic and uh, you see everything relatively uh, frequently, but you're not wasting too much time on all of your analytics checking and uh, ad income or whatever. I know it's really fun to check all of these stats, but at the end of the day, the most important thing in our business is writing and producing content. And when you just keep on checking analytics every single day, it just takes away a lot of that precious time. So with the start of this video, I'm also going to be following my own advice and I'm not going to be updating everything every single day anymore. Once a week is just great because it gives you relatively up-to-date information. So if something goes wrong with your site and you catch it after a week, you, uh, you only lost out on a week of progress. And, but if you only check it every two months or so, just imagine checking your website and a few days later, a core update hits or whatever, and you lose almost all your traffic and you only notice it about two months afterwards. That can be extremely damaging to your business because you lose two months of work. Uh, and now it's time for problem solving when uh, instead you could have solved the problem in those two months before. So I think once every week is fine. So just take a half an hour out of your day to kind of uh, update your spreadsheet, get your stats in there, just to see, give yourself a nice overview. Now for me personally, I think that tracking your page views and your traffic is the most important part. So uh, for this, I would say once a week is fine. But when it comes to income, I think once every month is perfectly reasonable. There really isn't a need to check your income every week. Your income is fully dependent on your page views. So if your page views drop, your income will drop. So I think just checking them once every month is perfectly fine. You can sort of guess how much you're going to make. Uh, of course, I think when it comes to uh, times like uh, the fourth quarter where RPMs are just skyrocketing, just take a look at it a few times more because it's really exciting those times. But now aside from tracking your page views, your organic searches and all your analytics stuff um, and your income, there are a few other things that you should check. And the first thing is your affiliate links. Now affiliate links can break and that's why I do think it's important to check your income every once and again, because if your affiliate links break or they entirely stop with giving out commissions, this can really hurt your, uh, your income. So checking your affiliate links every once and again is really important to make sure that you actually optimize the monetization on your website. I also would say that uh, tracking your internal links is very important. The more content you produce, the more internal links you can produce. And internal links just get you a lot more page views because someone that's landed on one article now has uh, like five options to click to next articles. So I think updating your internal links is going to be really important to track. And to make it even easier, uh, you can use Link Whisper. I've got a link to it below in the description, but Link Whisper just makes interlinking so much easier. Other than that, I think in analytics, it could be beneficial to check your bounce rate or your time on page just to see how uh, visitors are reacting to your content. If you have a very high bounce rate, which is actually perfectly normal, but if it's higher than normal, higher than high is to say, um, there could be something wrong with your site. Maybe you have your analytics code installed twice or something else. 
and your time on page the same. If you've got long articles that take like two minutes to read, but people are only staying on your site for 10 to 15 seconds, you know that your content might not be engaging enough. Now, lastly, I wanted to talk about costs because tracking costs is also really important, especially if you're outsourcing. So if you're making a website and you're outsourcing a lot of your content, it will take a lot longer for your website to become profitable. Let's say you're investing $1,000 every month into content. It takes a long time to earn that back. And I think tracking these costs are really important to see how far your business actually is because it can be really exciting to see an income of $2,000 every month. But if, but if you've invested, say, $20,000, it still takes 10 months before this website becomes profitable. I think tracking these costs and not only your outsourcing and writer costs, but also your hosting, your plugins, whatever. I think tracking these is really important. It's also going to be really important once you're filing for taxes. Uh, so just make sure that these are all kept in order. But that is basically everything I check for my own sites. Uh, as I mentioned, I will be following my own advice from this video on and not check every single day anymore. Just leave it at once a week. And that's uh, not only saves you a lot of time, but also a lot of headaches because your fluctuations in traffic will no longer be uh, the cause of frustration and concern for the rest of the day. With all that being said, I want to thank you all for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please consider leaving a like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.